Hey guys. So in my last video, I talked about how, you know, assembling everything was actually fairly easy. And in this video, I'm taking the next step, which is beginning the process of preparing all the holes. Uh, I've, I've got to go through and move some Clecos around, which is what I was doing there, because I, that top row of holes uh, has to be machine countersunk, which uh, I talked about previously. And so I needed to, you know, just generally get things out of the way so I could actually begin doing that. Check the docs to make sure I know what step I'm on and what I'm supposed to be doing. You do that a lot. And then here I get out the old machine countersink tool and slowly work on all the holes one at a time. Machine countersinking those suckers. And just as a reminder, this is the row I'm talking about. It's the very top row of rivets that... Uh, that you'll end up uh, securing to the baffle that's behind that seals the tank. Those have to be machine countersunk. And they told me that the reason they have to be machine countersunk is because they get real stiff, uh, or that tank gets real stiff, the skin does, once you put all the rivets in and you've got all the pro seal in and whatnot. And if you don't do this machine countersinking, uh, but rather use dimples, it makes getting that back baffle piece in very difficult, which after the fact that makes a lot of sense actually, but prior to that I was wondering, really? Why? You know, you always dimple the skin, but no, not in this case, it does make sense. Though I'd be willing to bet you could still get it in there if you did dimple. I don't think it's the end of the world. And here I'm started on the other side. You can see I flipped it around and I'm working on doing the other side. There's two sides to everything. And once I'm done, I drag the camera along as steadily as I can. I don't have a steady cam to show that they're all countersunk, even though you really can't tell from this distance, but they are. Next, in one of my previous videos, I had talked about how these two pieces right here, it was possible to insert them backwards, and people didn't really believe me or understand what I was referring to. So what I thought I would do, and I'm specifically referring to these two pieces on the end of the tank, is actually show you one installed incorrectly. So here you go, you have an L installed on the L tank, but it should actually be the R. And you can tell this because you can't see the flange. You gotta flip it around. In this case, the diagram was correct, but the actual instructions were not. And there are several cases where things like that happen. For example, so the piece that I'm talking about in this one instance is T1003B-R. And that is correct. It's the left wing. It should be the R piece. However, in the very next page, showing the very next step for this one piece, they refer to it as the L that's confusing, as you might imagine. And I, I think, honestly, mistakes happen. I'm not saying these things to bash them. I, I mean, I, I realize stuff like this happens, but uh, it's just a little inconsistent, and you need to make sure so you don't make mistakes. Another example here is it says on the same page, uh, do not dimple the two screw holes in the inboard edge, but then on the next page it shows four holes not to dimple. And to give a little more clarification on that, it's this hole right here and this hole right here that you're obviously not supposed to dimple, but also these two holes right up here, which are nut plate holes. Or at least that's my guess. Remember, four holes, not two. Something obviously got updated in one place and not the other. This is a common theme, so just pay attention. I do feel that there are a lot of unfortunate omissions in the plans around these two parts. Uh, and general errors, uh, specifically this one, it goes back and forth referring to it as the 103BL or 103BR. It goes back and forth as to which it is. It's actually the R, not the L. Uh, and then again, the countersinking problem here, The counter, there's a countersinking problem that, on this one. So there are things that it just kind of leaves out and doesn't really go into. Um, Maybe the plans changed, I don't know, but I, I do feel there are some things that were just left out uh, or maybe the plans weren't updated or something. I'll try to give a, a tally of all those things that I found so that you guys don't run into the same problems or if you have questions, uh, I can at least you know, help you understand from what I learned. So anyways, back to it. And I'll try to come up with a list of all the various things like that. There's there's probably a lot, honestly. Um, you know, plans change over time as Vans makes changes and, and updates things. And, you know, we're people, so it's someone missed something. It just happens. No big deal. So, anyways, uh, so after that, I went on to start dimpling. Oh, yay, dimpling. And um, <laughs> fun, fun. How do you not like dimpling, right? Right. So 
going through and doing all my uh, wacky dimple in there and trying to keep it exciting. It's not, so I'll speed this up. You're welcome. And finally, I'd like to give a shout out and thank you to everybody who's sending me messages. I'm getting a lot of emails, messages, and comments on various videos as well as direct messages, uh, both on the forum and on uh, YouTube. Thank you very much, everybody. I try to get to your uh, questions and give you an answer as soon as possible. I have not forgotten you, so just bear with me, guys. There's a lot. Thanks, everybody. See you next time.